I'm Billy Foster with Surfair 360 and this is our instruction video how to install your pads onto your board. First thing, clean the board really good, really important. Step two, take the fins off your board. The reason why is because you're going to lay your board down on the ground, on a carpet, whatever, put a towel down, and you're going to stand on your board. All right, this is, this is my sweet spot on this board. This is where I want, this is where my feet are standing. So, what I'm going to do with the Sharpie is I'm going to mark, this is my front strap. Go a couple inches in from the rail. Here's my right side. Here's my left side. Okay, that's where my front pads are going to be. Basically, you're sanding real good. Make sure, it's very important, you sand these pads really well. Here's your pads. So basically, that's going to be your, here's your front pads. Take your Sharpie. Mark your pads. Make sure, make sure they line up. If you want to, if you want it, you can use the pad or the strap to make to line up to line it all up really nice. Well, yeah, everybody is different. All right, you need to put the strap right where you want it. That's the most important thing. Very, very important. You need to sand this area really good. I'm using what 100 grit sandpaper. You gotta sand that area really good. What we found, if it wasn't sanded good enough, the pads would prematurely pop off. So it's very important the pads in this, in this area sand. Sand it. Most important thing. You can kind of, I can still see the outline. Yeah, you, can, you can sand it until the outline's almost gone. You still you can still see it. Really, really good. Use masking tape and go ahead and mask the area. You could probably leave the line a little bit if you like. This is for when you when you use your epoxy packs. This is the area you get your epoxy right in, and this helps it kind of keeps it so the epoxy doesn't run off your board. You want to prop your board up, okay? It's to make that, you want to make this area level, otherwise the epoxy is going to run off, run off the rail. So basically what you do is kind of use a towel, it works perfect. Prop that up. The epoxy packs look like two ketchup packets. You just kind of fold them over together, rip the thing off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze both packets right into the area. Real important, real important. You mix this really good, okay? Mix it for at least 30 seconds, at least 45 seconds. I mean, the better you mix it, the better it will hold. Basically, make sure the slot is facing towards the next pad because our strap is basically going to slip in and it's going it's to go like that. Make sure no epoxy gets inside the slots. Very important, otherwise the, tight, the strap is so tight won't be able to get the strap inside there. Let it dry. That takes about 15 minutes for it to set up. Uh, you definitely want it to wait 24 hours before you put your strap in and before you go in the water. 24 hour curing time, very important. So what we'll do, we'll let that dry and then we'll, we'll go do the next one. Again, on the, so this on the left side, kind of make that area flat. All right, I got my pads, I got my epoxy packs. I'm gonna do the same thing, somewhat dry. And that kind of, you know, that lines you up. It's real important that all, everything lines up real good so your slap, so your strap can slip in there. Okay, this one's, this one's going off pretty good. It's kind of under raised blade. I'm going to switch boards because these uh, the pads aren't dry. Before you even attempt to put the straps in, let them dry 24 hours. Way better. Uh, this board here, it's different. This board's different. Okay, on this one here, the pads are up a little further because what I was thinking, and I was thinking that basically when you stand up, you can come forward and hook your foot to do your aerial tricks. 
But like I say, everybody's different. That's up to you, up to the individual. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to take our strap. I'm going to slip it in there. Okay? Slip, slip it in there just like that. Okay? So basically what you want to do is take your... We'll take the first, we'll go to the right side first, okay? So basically, we're going to put a screw in there. Make sure the name, if you like, is centered. All right, so we're going to take our screw. This is our set screw. And screw it in to the strap. Okay, so it's the top of your arch. That's pretty much where you want it. So that's that's basically where you want your strap. It's perfect for your front foot. So that's, it's held in place. So we'll go ahead, and we're going to basically tighten that down. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take your Sharpie, Mark them. Mark them. So what you're going to do now, take your screws out. Mark that. All right. Pulling out these ones here. I've already got these straps already ready for it. Okay, these ones have already basically been cut. So we're going to go ahead and just put those back in. This is what I think. Everything a snowboarder can do on a half pipe, we can do better on a wave surfing. Okay, now that your feet are strapped in, all right, as you paddle, the straps go flat. Okay, when you, when you go to stand up, they pop up, your front foot slips right in, all right? Surf Air 360, our motto is we're taking surfing to new heights and it's time to let go. I mean, you don't have, you can grab the rail if you want to be cool with it, but you don't need to. This is a prototype board. Um, it's real simple. You just basically just cut it out where your strap's going to go. Epoxy your pad. Make sure you sand. Do the same thing. Sand the pad area underneath the area real good. Put the pad in there and tape it down. Don't put the strap in there. Let it, let it dry 24 hours before you slip your um, strap in there. But basically, as you can see, it's, it notches out. This board is a little unique. This is uh, Gary Straley's board. Notice how the foot, he's coming in backwards almost like a, like a snowboarder. Um, so basically, when he stands up, notice the, fr the front is, has a little more, more of an angle. That's going to be your preference, whatever, however you want to do it. But basically, what he's doing when he stands up, he's just gonna, his back foot's just going to go right in like that. And there's your front strap, but this is basically, this is how you notch around for your back foot pad. And you put a pad here, because what we noticed was if you get a wax underneath the strap, sometimes when it lays down, it takes just a second because the, lack, the wax um, makes the, the underside of the pad stick a little bit. So you threw that pad underneath there, so that kind of helps that. I just want to let everybody know. If, you, if there is a little bit of wax, sometimes when you lay on it, it takes it just a second for it to pop up. Not, not really, but we, we recommend that you put a little pad there or do not wax. This is a forward regular stance. You can see basically what he's doing here is, I'm going to turn it this way, is when he stands up, his foot, this is Gary Straley's board, his foot goes right in it like that. You know, that's probably going to be where most people are going to have their straps. Maybe they may move the strap over here. And also, too, this is a plug system. This board here, notice that we, made, we have plugs that are, that are fiberglass into the board as you manufacture. We do have a plug system. We're coming out with it. So you can see the set screws basically go into the plugs. These are, these are different plugs because we were, this is like I say, a prototype board. We were just testing, you know, different plug so you can go regular foot or goofy foot you know so you know we're like I say it's a it's a board for everybody to try it. See this one here. I would recommend instead of stacking your boards like say you got a board bag or you want to put a couple boards you know, what I would recommend is just taking your screwdriver, unscrewing one side, pull the strap out and put your screw back in. Because what happens is when you start stacking your boards on top of each other, I mean, it doesn't really hurt. It doesn't hurt the, the strap at all. But, you know, it, it, it just it just protect it, you know, a lot more. If it's just, um, if you just unhook it, 
real easy or when you're not using it just take the things off you know so I recommend don't stack boards on top of the of the straps because what you want you want that strap to come up every time that's the most important time and what we found if you stack boards on for long periods of time it, it doesn't lose its shape but it kind of does so I would suggest uh, just undo them take them off it's real simple when you're done when you're not using the straps you just take them off and then when you when you're ready to go surfing just put them back on just, it, it just helps the flexibility in the, in the, in the life of the straps. <laughs>